Let's talk about macro security and how to get our templates and macros to run without giving us annoying prompts and messages. First, you'll see when I'm here in Microsoft Word, I have my custom macros showing on this uh, Smooth Docs ribbon and then outlines. These are macros I've developed and I want them available whenever I'm in Word to use on any document. So I have put them in what are called global or startup templates. And the templates that hold the code for these are installed in my Word startup folder. Then there are document templates. That would be, for example, here if I go, let's just say I want to create a letter. I have a special template for that that comes up, prompts me for information. I want that available at any time. Notice I ran that without getting any other prompts uh, saying, hey, do you want to trust these macros? If I look at my macro security, though, under developer macro security, it is set towards default, which is to disable macros with notification. So how did I get mine to just run without irritating me constantly? I did not have to buy a code signing certificate. I just had to put my templates in the right folders and make sure those folders are trusted. Now this is Word 2010. Uh, if it's, the steps are essentially the same for 2007 except for you have that round office logo in the upper left. Okay, so how did I do it? Let me go to File, Options, Advanced, and I'm going to scroll all the way down. And here are the file locations. First of all, there are three locations where when the templates are installed in those locations, supposedly they will all be trusted and you won't have any problems. I have found with Word 2010, however, that with this workgroup template, which is one of them, I still have to make sure it's trusted. I can set the folder directory here, but that's not enough. I also have to make sure it's trusted, so I'll show you that. So the three folders are user templates. This comes with Word, it's already set. It's designed for the user to save whatever templates they want. Personally, I don't like to put my templates that I create for someone else here because I want to be able to, you know, delete everything out of this folder, put everything into this folder, and I don't want to accidentally delete something the user created. But you could just drop templates in here and they would magically show up and work. The second place is Word workgroup templates. And when you get Word, if you look at this, it'll be empty. There won't be anything there. So what I do is I put the document templates, letter, memo, fax, pleading, whatever type of dot forms, whatever type of document templates I have, I will put in a workgroup template and set whatever the folder I put them in, I'll set that here. So I would come here, click modify, and then just browse out to the folder where I have my documents. And in this case, I've already got it set, but I use this dialog box here to browse out to the folder where I have them. And that sets the workgroup templates folder. Then whatever templates you put in that will show up. I'll show you where people will see them. The third place is the startup folder. That is where my global or startup templates go. The templates that have macros, menus, toolbars, things that I want available all the time whenever Word's open. This is also already set by Word. Now I've changed it just for my personal use because I'm doing some development here. I have my reasons. But usually I just leave this alone. I'll show you where it's usually set because this is not the default. Usually it's going to be set right here. Now I've typed in a path here. And this app data in the per with the percentage marks around it. I think I need a backslash. That, by the way, is a user profile, and that's nice to know if you're installing for other people because you know, their user profile is going to vary from person to person based on their login name. And when I press enter on my keyboard, it just takes me straight to that folder. So this right here, let me get this whole thing to show, it's going to be their profile here. You can see everything I put in the percent app data percent gave me up to this point and then it's Microsoft Word startup and anything you drop in there will just automatically load with Word and that should be automatically trusted. Now I didn't really want to use that so I just paused my video and switched it back to where I actually want it set. Okay now that used to be enough. It used to be that once you did that and you put your templates in those folders you were done. Now what I've noticed in Word 2010 is you also have to make sure that workgroup folder, if you're using it, is a trusted folder. 
So I'm going to go to Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and go to our trusted locations. Just say Add New Location. Browse out to the exact location that you want. Say OK. Notice you can say subfolders at this location are also trusted. So when I check that, then if I want to have subfolders, maybe you have different categories like correspondence, forms, etc. And you want them in different folders, it will make them trusted. Now you can see mine's already trusted. It's trying to tell me, but yours probably wouldn't be. Once I've done that, I can use my templates on this person's computer, no problem. Now, if you have a bunch of people you need to do this for, uh, shoot me an email. It should be somewhere on my YouTube channel. If you would like me to make a little script that you can just double click that will do all these settings for you, including adding the trusted folder. OK, let me get out of here. I was going to my ribbon that I developed and I can pick documents off of here. But you don't need that to get to documents. Once you've got the workgroup folder set and you have your documents in it, you can just say File, New, My Templates, and your templates will show here. If the, the workgroup and user templates will be combined here, and you can just double click them and they'll run. Notice I have this other little folder here. This is a subfolder. So any subfolders you have, and if you told them to be trusted, well, regardless, they'll show. If you told them to be trusted, then you can just double click to run the macro. I should say the template. It may or may not have macros in it, depending on what you've designed.